Morning. Today we're doing a couple of sheep things and a couple of cow things. Well, I'm up. Krovek. That definitely didn't leave in the field where we last used it. Bit of the good stuff. Drone, lighters. Let's go. So this is where we're getting sheep in today. I need to move about 40 ewes up the top of that hill, but we have to go all the way around to get up there. And I don't want to get all the ewes in and then try and sort off what ewes and lambs there are about. So what I'm going to do is just shut this game. What I'm hoping is that there's about 40 ewes and lambs this side. Hoping. They might be, they might not. But if there's 50, we can sort off 10, can't we? So I'm going to shut that gate and then we're just going to get all of these in and then hopefully that's enough. So it worked really well. I think we got about 44 or something in here. <laughs> Little rundown of what's going on. He's escaped already, that's handy. <laughs> Looking really well. We've got a few dirty bums. So we're just trying to stop fly, basically. Bit of prevention, gonna just shear them out, crutch their back ends, just the dirty ones. Then we're gonna put some fly cover on them, stop the flies eating them alive. And then we'll give the lambs their first dose. And then they're going up there, like I said. We're just gonna do two trailer loads. And then for my next trick, you see this gorgeous beast here? No, there, that one. Her and her mate, we're gonna take them home because we have a TB test in the next couple of weeks and I need them back at the back at home. Just got a couple too many, so we're just gonna let a couple of the ewes and lambs out. Annoyingly, this little lamb's got out from around there and I don't wanna let any ewes and lambs out because then he'll run off with them. <sighs> it's annoying because I don't know who his mother is because I didn't number the sheep. Keys. I oh, know. You're coming home. How do you feel about that? Look how fat she is. Right, straight up. Mama, you coming home? Scared of dog walkers. All right, girl. Why are you putting so much weight then? Are you a big fat ass? So she's a heifer and she's in calf. We put a bull with them in December, so she's not due till September. So I'm just trying to catch this lamb. I'll go through the gate, go on. But she's really big, so I don't know. I think she's just gutty, you know what I mean? She's not blessed with the supermodel physique. Oh, that 
caught you, didn't it? There you go. I'm just gonna let maybe four or five using lambs out, just the ones I can work out who's who, because we've got a few too many. Go on, then. Yep. You may leave. Look at that. So the sheep here is a that's a grey faced Dartmoor to a Texel, and that is the offspring. And then we put it back to a Millennium Blue, put them back to a Millennium Blue, and that's the lamb. Best lamb we've had, I think. It's actually a very good lamb. Who knew? Bit of grass out here. So we reseeded this field twice. It's not the best, but it's quite young. First time we used the chicory rye grass, like clover lay, and it didn't really work. Got a bit of chicory come through, but I think it's the soil because it's um, it's like clay. Well, I'm no expert. <laughs> I'm not very good at growing stuff. Apart from docks, really good at growing docks. King of the docks. It's about nine acres, but I mean, there's plenty in the week. We haven't had anything on here since December, so it's had a good five month break. So now we're going to go and bring one more load up here, and that probably won't be enough. Second load, done. Just put my mag plates in the water. It's like 20 degrees in the day and then like 6 at night, so... And we just put them on some really lush grass, so quite a cheap way of not killing sheep, really. Right, go and get the next lot in. They're staying there for the minute, though. We're just going to put some fly stuff on them, worm the lambs, and then they're going to they're going to stay where they are for the time being. So this is just the bunch that we happened to shut in that side. So hopefully they're all mothered up right. That guy's not doing well, but he's coming home to go on the creep. Look at that one. It's all right. <laughs> right. While Zoe's been messing about with the sheep, I've done all the hard work. I've built a pen. I have a uh, secret weapon. Bread rolls. Because the cows are hosed for bread rolls. Yeah, girls. Okay. You're so fat, Annie. What's happened to you? Right, 
diet. Cows on, just got to load the hurdles on with them. That's the annoying bit about having cows is the hurdles are just huge. You can't just throw some on your truck, so just got to slide them in the side next to them. Slow he's done the sheep. Be free. No cheer, you're coming home. We made it. Right, no fighting. Uh oh, coming in hot. Here comes the young un. Since uh, Bambi's over there with her calf, this girl's the new boss, so that's why she's giving it the big one. She was also due to carve any day, so she should probably take it easy. So Hereford is out of a uh, British Frisian. Quite a good idea if you are like us and struggle to get a lot of capital to get farming. Costs a lot of money to start farming. That cow around there, the Hereford, Henny her name is. We bought Henny as a bottle calf. So she was off a dairy farm, cost 45 quid. Obviously there's a cost of rearing them, which was a lot cheaper three years ago or whenever it was we did it than it is now, but probably cost us 350. So that, she probably only owed us 400 pound. And then you've got a really nice, calm, all right, she's not that good a cow, but she's good enough. You've got a nice, calm cow that you can handle, stroke, do you know what I mean? She'll be really milky when she calves. If you're, uh, if you're getting started, it might not be a bad shout to have a look at maybe rearing a few little heifer calves and you won't have any return for a couple of years, but proper having it out now. I think we have a new boss. Are you the new boss? I'm not surprised with them horns. You need to take it easier. Right, cool. Job done. Next job. All the sheep. It's been 48 hours. They get moved. Cows got a really good like hierarchy, so they have a little fight, sort it out, and and that's it. Then no one steps out of line. The boss cow's the boss cow, and they've got a pecking order, and and that's it. They just live like it. Sheep. <laughs> Worst job in the world. A couple of people messaged and said, why don't you get one with wheels? And then you just tie it around and leave it in the field. Good idea. But we live in bandit country and they get stolen if we do that, so... I do have one that you can tow along, but by the time I've like got it out, hitched it up, done the water, put it away, I might as well just throw it out on the back. It is a pain. It is a pain. In the future, future Chris is going to have one of those tanks in every field, and I'm just going to go around fill them up once a week. And the attached to them is going to have a little tank, and it's going to have a little ball valve on it, and it's going to fill itself. It's just going to be marvellous, honestly. The future is looking good. Look at this grass. This is all the growth. Looks good, doesn't it? That was down to nothing, what? When was I last in here? 16 days ago. I'm enjoying moving them, I've got to be honest. It's, um, it's nice, it's nice to move them. It's nice having somewhere fresh from going on to. I know this is all fresh. The lambs are doing all right for it, I think. I think the sheep are looking well for it. I think I'm gonna keep doing it at the moment. Got a puncher. Just what I wanted on a Sunday afternoon, I'll be honest. Who else thought my spare would be flat as well? I actually thought that too, so don't worry, you're not a bad person. You just know me too well. It felt a bit soft, but I didn't think it was that soft. Jeez. I think of all the companies I can get sponsored by for this YouTube channel, 
I think it should be tyre companies. Because I do a lot of tyres. Anywho, thank you very much for watching my YouTube. Till next time.